Hey folks, Philly Boy J here back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my salmon croquettes. My family used to call them salmon patties. What we're going to do first is we're going to saute our vegetables. And the reason that I saute the vegetables is because I find that when I add the vegetables to the salmon mixture raw, they don't cook thoroughly. So I like to saute them first, then add them to the salmon mixture. The vegetables that I'm going to be using are red bell peppers, green bell peppers, and onions. You can customize this recipe to your own liking. If you want to add more vegetables than that, like celery, you can do so. But I don't like celery in my salmon patties. I only like red and green bell peppers and onions. So let's slice them up into small pieces. Okay guys, so as you can see, we diced our vegetables up into really fine pieces. For the exact amount and measurements to all the ingredients used in this recipe, visit my website at phillyjcooking.com. All the detailed instructions to this recipe can be found there. What we're going to do now is we're going to saute our vegetables, so let's get ready to move over to the stove. So you want to get your skillet and you're going to place it over high heat. And to the skillet, we're going to add some vegetable oil. Now, you may be wondering why I'm adding so much, but I'm adding a lot of vegetable oil because we're going to be frying our salmon in this same pan after removing the vegetables. Okay. So, all of that oil is not just for the vegetables. All right. We're going to let this get hot. We're going to stir them and saute them, i say for about two minutes. And after two minutes, what you're going to do is you want to drain some of the oil from the vegetables. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit it on a paper tiled plate, all right, to drain the excess oil. Okay guys, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get two cans of pink salmon, and I like to use pink salmon by Bumblebee. This is the kind that I always use. What you're gonna do is you're going to remove the top of the cans and you're gonna squeeze as much of the juice inside the can out, all right? So here is our salmon juice. I'm going to use some of that just to enhance the salmon flavor. We're not gonna be using a lot of it, but about four to five tablespoons, I'll say. Okay, we're gonna drain the rest. The way I like to drain it is I like to squeeze as much of the juice from the salmon as possible. So I just press the top down into the salmon like that and drain all of the juice. So press it as hard as possible. Get all that juice from out your salmon because you want it to be as dry as possible. So I'm going to do that and then I'll get back with you guys when I'm done to tell you what you need to do next. So now that we drain the juice from our salmon, here's what you're going to need to do. We're going to remove the skin. It just looks so unattractive. So remove as much of the skin as possible. Try not to throw away too much meat, but remove the black skin should be rather easy to scrape off. Uh, all this hair, you want to remove this. You 
You don't have to remove every single piece, but you want to remove as much as possible. Okay, so now that we removed most of the skin, what you're going to do is you're going to remove the bones. Now, you don't have to remove the small bones like this here, but you want to remove the long bones like this part here. See how long this one is? Want to remove that. So remove this long piece of bone right here. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to chop your salmon up and make it as fine as possible. Okay. Okay guys, so what you're going to do is you're going to melt some butter. Again, for the amount and measurements, visit my website at phillyjcooking.com. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add our binding ingredients and combine that with our vegetables and salmon. What we're going to add to the mixing bowl first is our eggs. We're going to be using two of them. To the eggs, we're going to add some lemon juice. Now, if you don't have lemon juice, you can use lemon pepper seasoning. Lemon and fish go perfectly together. We're going to add that salmon juice just to enhance the fish flavor. We're going to add that melted butter. We're going to add our seasoning salt. Our garlic powder. I'm going to add some onion powder even though we're going to be adding the chopped onions that we sauteed earlier. We're going to add some black pepper, some parsley flakes. You can add fresh parsley if you like. And last but not least, we're going to add some breadcrumbs. We're going to add our vegetables. You have to make sure this is well blended because the breadcrumbs is what's going to help. As I said, the patties stay together. Alright guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to shape this mixture into salmon patty shapes. And I don't usually make all of this at once. 
I just make a few salmon patties and I wrap this up, put it in the refrigerator and make some more the following day or week or whenever I decide I want some more salmon patties. But I'm going to show you guys how I shape mine. It's really simple. And at this point, you can shape them how you like. But me personally, I like my salmon patties to be small and flat. I don't like really thick salmon patties. I like them to be flat because when you place them in the pan to fry, they're going to rise a little bit anyway. So if you shape them into thick salmon patties, they're going to be even thicker once they're done. All right. But it's totally up to you if you like large salmon patties you can make them that way but I like mine's flat and small when they're flat and small they um cook faster too I don't like salmon patties that be like uncooked in the middle I just don't like that so I'm gonna make about six for myself and I'll get back with you guys once I'm done Alright guys, so here's our salmon patties. I have the oil that we sauteed our vegetables in earlier, preheating. And we're going to be cooking our salmon patties on medium-high heat. Okay. Our oil is hot now, so we're going to add our salmon patties. Three at a time. And by the way, guys, after we take them out, you're going to sit your salmon patties on a paper towel plate, just like you did your vegetables, to drain the excess oil. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to need two spatulas, one for the bottom, one for the top, so move it onto one spatula, and then you're going to flip it over like this, and then press it, kind of like that, okay. Another reason why I like to make them small, easier to flip. <laughs> the long ones tend to break and don't hold together as well. And there you go, guys, your salmon patties. These are delicious. I usually eat salmon patties for breakfast. That's the way I was raised. We only ate them for breakfast. So, you're going to find this recipe on my website in the breakfast section, just to let you guys know. All right? But these are amazing. They're really, really good. I don't think you need to make salmon patties any other way. Because my way is the best. I said the best way in the whole wide world. Listen, nobody made salmon patties like Philly Boy J, that boy from Philly. Nobody. Don't nobody do it quite like him. Let me tell you something. I'm willing to pay you. $5,000 to find somebody that makes salmon patties like Philly Boy J. I'm willing to pay you. I'll pay you, I said. Listen, listen. These salmon patties are delicious. Look at this. Look, look. 
it's well cooked on the inside. And another thing, oh, mm, the lemon take them to another level. Mm. The onions, these are good with scrambled eggs. Mm. Oh. Patties, so crispy and a little greasy too. Go, mm. mm, 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 mm. these out. They're really good. You're gonna love them. Follow the recipe to a tea. Peace. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm,